So Kevin Herter went down last night in the first quarter of the Kings win against the Memphis Grizzlies. It looked at first like, could it be his wrist? What's going on? We find out he left the game with a left shoulder injury. Now the latest injury report just came out in advance of the Kings-Raptors game, and he's missing that game with a left shoulder dislocation. No other timetable at this point, but Morgan is like the shoulder dislocation expert. Thank you. This happened to you before. <laughs> Multiple times. Can you describe it for the people? <laughs> yeah. Throughout my entire life and uh, throughout my basketball life. So it all started actually even when I was 15, took a screen and my shoulder just came up out of the socket, right? So from there, then the ligaments around it weakened and everything. So the smallest things, it would start to dislocate. And even on that play right there, now that it's come out what it is, a dislocation. You can kind of see it with just even how his arm jiggles in it. But what I will say throughout my many years, I ended up needing surgery throughout my playing days um, just to put a rubber knot in there to kind of keep my shoulder in there. And then when I continued to play, there was a day that finally it even popped through the rubber knot and came back out. So Why now, is this hurting me? I know. So now, so now I even have to be careful putting on on a t-shirt right like it's just i'm old way past my day where kevin herter he still got a lot of time he has a lot of resources hopefully you know we don't know the severity of the dislocation like did a lot of other things get damaged we don't know i'm not a doctor we're just speaking i'm just speaking on experience of how painful and just absolutely awful it is and i just one of the things I remember was even trying to get back into trying to throw an overhead pass mm. and how long it took me. That was many years ago. That was also not with NBA resources and what they have. So we don't know what that's going to look like for Kevin Herter. In the meantime, Keon Ellis will get the start for the Sacramento Kings. He's been playing some great basketball, maybe some more time for Chris Duarte too. It's tough. You know, Kevin means so much to this team, especially when he's playing well. You know, I think it's so easy to like, pile on Kevin this year because he's, he's been so downs. hot or cold. But yeah. like, let's be honest, he does help with spacing, his playmaking. He's got good size at the guard spot. So when Kevin's right, he means a lot for this team. So it's still a big loss for the Kings. And now other guys are going to have to step up and there's some pressure on Keon Ellis to keep this up because he's been awesome. Yeah, no, he really has. And you look at him in that starting role and what he can actually add there. And I think there was times even at the end of this, uh, before Kevin went down where people are like, can yeah. they make that switch? And I wasn't ready for that mostly because I think when you're this late in the season, it's important to kind of ride with what you got to do. And then maybe short leash it, uh, take out HB or Kevin yeah, yeah. when they're not doing things the right way. But now you're going to see a lot more opportunity for Keon Ellis. And what does that opportunity mean? really mean for him i think it's just remain doing the same things don't try to add a whole bunch more just do what you're doing one of the things i was looking at today was this catch and shoot three numbers which i know were good but on the season he's shooting just under 44 percent on catch and shoot threes that's great so he doesn't really hurt you with his offense he doesn't yeah. mess with your spacing he's athletic and then what he does defensively out there is outrageous i mean leading the team in deflections crazy in steals and near the top in blocks this month for the yeah. sacramento Kings. so a good opportunity for him to continue to show what he can do one more thing yeah Maybe some good news. Sasha Vazenkov on the injury report listed as questionable for the game okay. against the Raptors. And that's good news as well. I mean, what does that really mean? Like, where is he physically? Especially we saw him in his game trying to translate into today's NBA pace. And it was... it. It was trying to get there before he went down with that injury. So hopefully if you're just adding another body back, that's what matters, especially after Kevin Herter going down like this this late in the season. So what do you feel about this Sacramento Kings injury report? You got Sasha maybe coming back. Lyles is still out. Herter is out. How are you feeling about things as this Kings team starts a three-game road trip? Let us know in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe.